Uh, the cultivation of wheat in Nigeria dates back to 16th century. That time, local varieties of wheat were being used. And these local varieties were of low yield, about 600 kilograms to one ton per hectare was the average national yield. Not only that, these local varieties were susceptible to pests, disease, and lodging. <laughs> The new varieties developed by Ikara and its partners uh, has a special characteristics uh, on three important aspects. One, these new varieties are giving a yield advantage of four to six ton per hectare under farmer's field, which is uh, three threefold uh, higher than compared to the national average of Nigerian wheat, which is not exceeding more than 1.5 to 2 ton per hectare. So it brings higher productivity and higher income for the farms. The second benefit of the new varieties are they have fulfilling the quality criteria which are needed for different bread making qualities. So these varieties are competing to the one which are imported wheat from outside Nigeria. Our over-dependence on imported wheat will continue to rise and that will pose significant economic, social, political risk to this country and therefore we must change that. And that is why, Mr. President, as part of the Agricultural Transformation Agenda, launched also the Wheat Transformation Agenda. And I told them I will not do political wheat, but that if we find the right science and technology, the right policies that allows us to produce wheat economically and competitively, that I will go after it. And therefore, today I am delighted that my chairman of the House Committee is here to witness today. Because today you see that because of the collaboration between ICADA, IITA, CIMIT, and our Lecture Research Institute, they have been able to convince us that Nigeria can, in fact, produce wheel technically and economically. That makes sense. And that is why I have thrown 3,000% support behind it.